In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Traditionally, on Good Friday, we always meditate on the passion and death of our Lord. We have the liturgical service this evening. We'll participate very devoutly in it when we once again think of the sufferings of our Lord. Traditionally, in many parishes, in archdiocese in the country, we also have the way of the cross where people walk the 14 stations with our Lord and meditate at each step in a way during this process also try asking the Lord to purify us later on we also have in some parish the three hours agony however I will give uh, at the time specified by the media office uh, uh, one hour's meditation the seven last words of Jesus on the cross the way of the cross which I will now join you in walking is uh, drafted, composed by Saint John Henry Newman. A saint who was a, living ahead of his times, a man with great insight into what the Lord wants of the Church, into the Church, into the mystery of the cross. Let us begin with an act of contrition. O oh my God, I am sorry and beg pardon for all my sins and ask your forgiveness because I have deserved a dreadful punishment because I have offended my loving Savior Jesus Christ. And I ask pardon from you and ask you with help to always okay, avoid all the occasions of sin. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Leaving the house of Caiaphas, dragged before Pilate and Herod, mocked, beaten and spit upon, his back torn with scourges, his head crowned with thorns, Jesus, who on the last day will judge the world, is himself condemned by unjust judges to a death of ignominy and torture. Jesus is condemned to death. His death warrant is signed. Who signed it? But I, when I committed my first mortal sins. My first mortal sins, when I fell away from the state of grace into which thou didst place me by baptism. These it was that were thy death warrant, O Lord. The innocent suffered for the guilty. 
those sins of mine were the voices which cried out let him be crucified that willingness and delight of heart with which I committed them was the consent which Pilate gave to this clamorous multitude and the hardness of heart which followed upon them my disgust my despair my proud impatience my obstinate resolve to sin on the love of sin which took possession of me what were these contrary and impetuous feelings but the blows and the blasphemies with which the fierce soldiers and the populace received thee thus crying out the sentence which Pilate had pronounced our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord's with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the soul to the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The second station, Jesus receives his cross. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A strong and therefore heavy cross, for it is strong enough to bear him on it when he arrives at Calvary, is placed upon his torn soldiers. He receives it gently and meekly, nay, with gladness of heart, for it is to be the salvation of mankind. True, but recollect that heavy cross is the weight of our sins. As it fell upon his neck and shoulders, it came down with a shock. Alas, what a sudden heavy weight have I laid upon thee, O Jesus! And though in the calm and clear foresight of thy mind, for thou seest all things, thou wast fully prepared for it, yet thy feeble frame tottered under it when it dropped down upon thee. Ah, how great a misery is it that I have lifted up my hand against my God. How could I ever fancy that he would forgive me unless he had himself told us that he underwent his bitter passion in order that he might forgive us. I acknowledge, O oh Jesus, in the anguish and the agony of my heart that my sins it was that struck thee on the face, that bruised thy sacred arms, that tore thy flesh with iron rods, that nailed thee to the cross and let thee slowly die upon it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the soul of the fatal depart, with the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The third station. Jesus falls the first time beneath the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus bowed down under the weight and the length of the unwieldy cross, which trailed after him, 
slowly sets forth on the way. Amid the mock mockeries and insults of the crowd. His agony in the garden itself was, insuff was sufficient to exhaust him. But it was only the first of a multitude of sufferings. He sets off with his whole heart. But his limbs fail him. And he falls. Yes, it is as I feared. Jesus, the strong and mighty Lord, has found for the moment our sin stronger than himself. He falls, yet he bore up the Lord, yet he bore the Lord for a while. He tottered, but he bore up and walked onwards. What then made him give way? I say, I repeat, it is an intimation and a memory to thee, O my soul, of thy falling back into mortal sin. I rep repented of the sins of my youth, went on well for a time. At length a new temptation came when I was off my guard and I suddenly fell away. Then all my good habits seemed to go at once. They were like a garment which is stripped off. So quickly and utterly did grace depart from me. At that moment, I looked at my Lord. And lo, he had fallen down. And I covered my face with my hands, remained in a state of great confusion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus rises, though wounded by his fall, journeys on with his cross still on his shoulders. He is bent down. At one place looking up, he sees his mother. For an instant, they just see each other and he goes forward. Mary 
would rather have had all his sufferings herself could that have been than not have known what they were by ceasing to be near him he too gained a refreshment as from some soothing and grateful breath of air to see her sad smile amid the sighs and the noises which were about him she had known him beautiful and glorious with the freshness of divine innocence and peace upon his countenance now she saw him so changed and deformed that she could scarce have recognized him save for the piercing thrilling peace inspiring look he gave her still he was now carrying the load of the world's sins and all holy though he was he carried the image of them on his very face he looked like some outcast or outlaw who had frightful guilt about him he had been made sin for us who knew no sin not a feature not a limb but spoke of guilt of a curse of punishment of agony oh what a meeting of son and mother yet there was a mutual comfort there was a mutual sympathy jesus and mary do they forget that passion tide through all eternity our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be were without end amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the soul of the faithful depart to the mercy of god rest in peace amen the fifth station simon of cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross we adore you o lord and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world at length his strength fails utterly he is unable to proceed the executioners stand perplexed what are they to do how is he to get to calvary soon they see a stranger who seems strong and active Simon of Cyrene they seize on him and compel him to carry the cross with Jesus the sight of the sufferer pierces the man's heart oh what a privilege oh happy soul elect of god he takes the path assigned to him with joy the scheme of mary's intercession he prayed not for himself except that he might drink the full chalice of suffering and do his father's will but she showed herself a mother by following him with her prayers since she could help him in no other way she then sent this stranger to help him It was she who led the soldiers to see that they might be too fierce with him. Sweet mother, even do the like to us. Pray for us ever, holy mother of God. Pray for us whatever be our cross as we pass along on our way. Pray for us and we shall rise again though we have fallen. Pray for us when sorrow, anxiety or sickness comes upon us. Pray for us when we are prostrate under the power of temptation. Send some faithful servant of thine to help us. In the world to come, if found worthy to expiate our sins in the fiery prison, send some good angel 
to give us a season of refreshment. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the soul to the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The sixth station, Jesus and Veronica. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As Jesus toils along up the hill, covered with the sweat of death, a woman makes her way through the crowd and wipes his face with a napkin. In reward of her piety, the cloth retains the impression of the sacred countenance upon it. The, the relief which a mother's tenderness secured is not yet all she did. Her prayers sent Veronica as well as Simon. Simon to do a man's work, Veronica to do the part of a woman. The devout servant of Jesus did what she could. As Magdalene had poured the ointment at the feast, so Veronica now offered him this napkin in his passion. Ah, she said, would that I could do more. Why have I not the strength of Simon to take part in the burden of the cross? But men only can serve the great high priest now that he is celebrating the solemn act of sacrifice. O Jesus, there is one and all minister to thee according to our places and powers. And as thou didst accept from thy followers refreshment in thy hour of trial to give us the support of thy grace, when we are hard pressed by our foe, be with us. I feel I cannot bear up against temptations, weariness, despondency and sin. I say to myself, what is the good of being religious? I shall fall, O my dear Saviour, I shall certainly fall, unless thou dost renew for me thy vigour like the eagles and breathe life into me by the soothing application and the touch of the holy sacraments which thou hast appointed. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. With the soul to the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Transcribe.
The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The pain of his wounds and the loss of blood, increasing at every step of the way. Again, his limbs fail him and he falls on the ground. What has he done to deserve all this? This is the reward received by the long expected messiahs from the chosen people, the children of Israel. I know what to answer. He falls because I have fallen. I have fallen again. I know well that without thy grace, O Lord, I could not stand. And I fancy that I had kept closely to thy sacraments. Yet in spite of my going to mass and to my duties, I am out of grace again. Why is it but because I have lost my devotional spirit, have come to thy holy ordinances in a cold, formal way, without any inward affection? I became lukewarm, tepid. I thought the battle of life was over and became secure. I had no lively faith no sight of spiritual things. I came to church from habit because I thought others would observe it. I ought to be a new creature. I ought to live by faith, hope and charity. But I thought more of this world than of the world to come. At last I forgot that I was a servant of God, followed the broad way that leadeth to destruction, not the narrow way which leadeth to life and thus I fell from thee our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the soul of the fatal departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. The eighth station, Jesus comforts the women of Jerusalem. We adore thee, O Lord, and we bless thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. At the sight of the sufferings of Jesus, the holy women are so pierced with grief that they cry out and bewail him, careless of what happens to them by so doing. Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Ah, can it be, O Lord, that I shall prove one of these sinful children for whom thou biddest their mothers to weep? Weep not for me, he said, for I am the Lamb of God and am making atonement at my own will for the sins of the world. I am suffering now, but I shall triumph. When I triumph, those souls for whom I am dying will either be my dearest friends or my deadliest enemies. Is it possible, O oh my Lord, can I grasp the terrible thought that thou really didst weep for me, weep for me, and thou didst weep for over Jerusalem? 
Is it possible that I am one of the repro reprobate? Possible that I shall lose by thy passion and death, not gain by it? O oh, withdraw not from me. I am in a very bad way. I have so much evil in me. I have so little of an earnest, brave spirit to set against that evil. O oh Lord, what will become of me? It is so difficult for me to drive away the evil spirit from my heart. Thou alone canst effectively cast him out. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the soul of the faithful departed to the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. The ninth station. Again, a third time, Jesus falls. We adore thee, O Lord, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. This is the worst fall of the three. His strength has for a while utterly failed him. It is some time before the barbarous soldiers can bring him to. Ah, it was his anticipation of what was to happen to me. I get worse and worse. He sees the end from the beginning. He was thinking of me all the time he dragged himself along up the hill of Calvary. He saw that I should fall again in spite of all my former warnings and former assistance. He saw that I should become secure and self-confident that my enemy would then assail me with some new temptation to which I never thought I should be exposed. I thought my weakness lay all on one particular side which I knew. I had not a dream that I was not strong on the other. And so Satan came down on my unguarded side and got the better of me from my self-trust and self-satisfaction. I was wanting in humility. I thought no harm would come on me. I thought I had outlived the danger of sinning. I thought it was an easy thing to get to heaven. And I was not watchful. It was my pride. So I fell a third time. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The soul to the faithful departed, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. King of glory now. 
the tenth station, Jesus is stripped and drenched with gall. We adore thee, O Lord, and we bless thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. At length he has arrived at the place of sacrifice, and they begin to prepare him for the cross. His garments are torn from his bleeding body, and he, the holy of holiest, stands exposed to the gaze of the coarse and scoffing multitude. O thou, who in thy passion wast stripped of all thy clothes, held up the curiosity, held up to the curiosity and mockery of the rabble, strip me of myself here and now, that in the last day I come not to shame before men and the angels. Thou didst endure the shame on Calvary, that I might be spared the shame at the judgment. Thou hadst nothing to be ashamed of personally. The shame with which thou didst feel was because thou hast taken on the men's nature. When they took from thee thy garments, those innocent limbs of thine were but objects of humble and loving adoration to the highest seraphim. They stood around in spe speechless awe, wondering at thy beauty, and they trembled at thy infinite self-abasement. But I, O Lord, how shall I appear if thou shalt hold me up hereafter to be gazed upon, stripped of that robe of grace which is thine, seen in my own personal life and nature? O oh, how hideous I am in myself even in my best estate. Even when I am cleansed from my mortal sins, what disease and corruption is seen even in my venial sins? How shall I be fit for the society of angels? How for thy presence, until thou burnest this foul leprosy away in the fire of purgatory? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the soul of the faithful depart from the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Lord, and we bless thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The cross is laid on the ground. Jesus is stretched upon it, and then, swaying heavily to and fro, it is after much exertion, jerked into the hole ready to receive it. Or, as others think, it is set upright, and Jesus is raised up and fastened to it. As the savage executioners drive in the huge nails, he offers himself the Eternal Father as a ransom for the world. The blows are struck, the blood gushes forth. Yes, they set up the cross on a high, and they placed a ladder against it. And having stripped him of his garments, made him mount. With his hands feebly grasping its sides and crosswoods, his feet slowly, uncertainly, with much effort, with many slips mounting up, the soldiers propped him on each side, or he would have fallen. When he reached the projection where his sacred feet were to be, he turned around with sweet modesty and gentleness towards the fierce rabble stretching out his arms as if he would embrace them. Then he lovingly placed the back of his hands close against the traverse beam, waiting for the executioners to come with their sharp nails 
and heavy hammers to get to dig into the palm of his hands to fasten them securely to the wood there he hung a perplexity to the multitude a terror to evil spirits the wonder the awe yet the joy the adoration of the holy angels our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful depart into the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. The twelfth station. Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore thee, O Lord, and we bless thee, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus hung for three hours. During this time, he prayed for his murderers, promised paradise to the penitent robber, committed his blessed mother to the guardianship of Saint John. Then all was finished, and he bowed his head. and gave up his spirit the worst is over the holiest is dead and departed the most tender the most affectionate the holiest of the sons of men is gone jesus is dead with his death my sin shall die i protest once for all before men and angels that sin shall no more have dominion over me this lent i make myself god's own forever the salvation of my soul shall be my first concern with the aid of his grace i will create in me a deep hatred and sorrow for my past sins i will try hard to detest sin as much as i have ever loved it Into God's hands I put myself not by halves but unreservedly I promise thee O Lord with the help of thy grace to keep out of the way of temptation to avoid all occasions of sin to turn at once from the voice of the evil one to be regular in my prayers so to die to sin that thou mayest not have died for me on the cross in vain Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The souls of the faithful depart into the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. Spend a moment, moments in silence as we reflect on the death of our Lord.
Jesus truly has saved us. Great was the price that He paid. Thou art the folly of love divine, for us so far Savior King. The Tatid Station. Jesus is taken from the cross and laid in Mary's bosom. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The multitude have gone home. Calvary is left solitary and still, except that St. John and the holy women are there. Then come Joseph of Arimathea, Nicodemus, and they take down from the cross the body of Jesus and they place it in the arms of Mary. O Mary, at last thou hast possession of thy son. Now when his enemies can do no more, they leave him in contempt to thee. As his unexpected friends perform their difficult work, Thou lookest on with unspeakable thoughts. Thy heart is pierced with the sword of which Simeon spoke. O mother most sorrowful, yet in thy sorrow there is a still greater joy. The joy in prospect served thee to stand by him as he hung upon the cross. Much more now, without swooning, Without trembling, thou dost receive him into thy arms and on thy lap. Now thou art supremely happy at having him, though he comes to thee not as he went from thee. He went forth from thy home, O Mother of God. In the strength and beauty of his manhood, he comes back to thee dislocated, torn to pieces, mangled, dead. Yet, O Blessed Mary, thou art happier in this hour of war than on the day of the marriage feast, for then he was leaving thee. Now, in the future, as a risen Saviour, he will be separated from thee no more. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The soul of the faithful depart, to the mercy of our rest in peace. Amen. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid on the tomb. We adore thee, O Lord, and we bless thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. But for a short three days, for a day and a half, Mary then must give him up. He is not yet risen. His friends and his servants take him from thee and place him in an honourable tomb. They close it till the hour comes for his resurrection. Lie down and sleep in peace in the calm grave for a little while, dear Lord, then wake up for an everlasting reign. We, like the faithful women, will watch around thee. For all our treasure, all our life is lodged with thee. When our turn comes to die, grant, sweet Lord, that we may sleep calmly too, the sleep of the just. Let us sleep peacefully for the brief interval between death and the general resurrection. Guard us from the enemy, save us from the pit. Let our friends remember us and pray for us, O dear Lord. Let masses be said for us, that the pains of purgatory 
so much deserved by us and therefore so truly welcomed by us may be over with little delay. Give us seasons of refreshment there. Wrap us around with holy dreams and soothing contemplation while we gather strength to ascend the heavens. Then let our faithful guardian angels help us up the glorious ladder reaching from earth to heaven which Jacob saw in vision. When we reach the everlasting gates, let them open upon us with the music of angels. Let Saint Peter receive us and Our Lady, the glorious Queen of Saints, embrace us. Bring us to Thee, to Thy Eternal Father, to Thy co-equal Spirit, three persons, one God, to reign with Thee forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The soul of the faithful depart, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the precious blood of thy only begotten Son did sanctify the standard of the cross, grant we beseech thee that we who rejoice in the glory of the same holy cross may at all times and places rejoice in your protection. Make this prayer to save Christ our Lord. Amen. There's a plenary indulgence for all those who make the way of the cross. Meditate on our Lord's passion, death and resurrection. And then let's say all together, in preparation of that, for the intention of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. My dear people, uh, I have with me now a relic of the true cross. I, I brought it from Brescia when I had gone there, at the invitation of the family of St. Paul the Sixth and the Emperor Constantine, when he was coming back with the true cross, was received with faith by the people of Brescia as a gratitude. He left a big piece of the wood of the true cross there. And this is a small sliver, a sliver cut off from there. I'll bless you with that. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for having participated and you can apply this indulgence to any of your dear ones, especially for the, somebody who has departed. God bless each one of you. We pray for each other. Good Friday in a special way, but all through the year. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'll see you now for the meditation on the, on our meditation on the seven last words. Just be.